Greetings. This is a 12 volt power supply. It happens to be made by GeoVision or at least branded for GeoVision. Doesn't really matter. Um, it probably works, but the trouble is this one is only rated at 12 volts at 3 amps. And I need a power supply which is rated a bit more than this. I've got um, two, I've got a, a CCTV system to run. I've got a small um, compact, small form factor PC that needs to run as well. And obviously with the CCTV, there's the cameras as well. So I've got abuse for a bit more than the, than the three amps that this can kick out. But the trouble is, if you want larger power supplies, the price sort of starts to skyrocket. Here are the prices from RS components for their own range of power supplies. As you can see, where the low current ones are relatively cheap, they do climb up quite drastically if you want a bigger power supply. Fortunately, there is an alternative, and it's quite a cheap one, thanks to a certain large company's foray into the world of hardware, and not such a successful foray into the world of reliability. Here are four of them. We've got three 203 watt power supplies here, with different connectors. Uh, see, some of them have got this thicker cable, and this has got a thinner cable and hasn't got the, the, tab, the locking tabs on the side, but it's actually rated, it's got the same rating. These are all 203 watt power supplies. This is a smaller one, this is only 175 watts. Notice that there's an extra bit in the middle of the, of the plug to stop it being uh, plugged into a, a higher current demanding Xbox because the earlier ones needed the bigger power supplies. I haven't got a 150 watt one here, but there is a 150 watt one available as well, which has another little nib at the top to stop that being plugged into the larger ones. Anyway, um, these are actually the same manufacturer, but with different plugs. You can see the part number, the internal part, the manufacturer part number is DPN, DPSN 186EB-1A, hyphen regardless of the size of cable. This one has the same size cable, but is a different manufacturer. So this is a HP AW205, is it 205? Yes, EF3P. And uh, this one, the scrawny one, is a P2171-02MX. So obviously yet another manufacturer. Output current for these is five volts standby. So it's always got a five volt supply at one amp. But the larger supplies here, they'll kick out 12 volts at 16 and a half amps. This one, the 175 watt one, will kick it out at 14.2 amps, and the 150 watt one will do 12.1 amps. So even the 150 watt one is a is a pretty big, beefy power supply, and you'll pick them up dirt cheap on eBay because people's Xboxes have gone bang. So we'll ignore these and take a look at this one. This has a two pin connector, but it will take a standard three pin kettle plug. And it is, let's just confirm that it's an auto range. Oh, oh these are the, um, this isn't an auto range in supply. This is a 200 to 240 volt supply, so it's not universal. So don't go buying from a different country and expecting it to not go boom when you plug it in. But anyway, there's the plug, which it appears to be a molded plug. So I'm not even gonna try and crack that open. All I'm gonna do, is snip it off and uh, because I need a bit more than that I'm going to snip it off ahead of the, the ferrite door right so that can go in the bin let's take a look at what we've got here surprise surprise a whole bunch of wires these are colored the same as you get in a PC so you've got these ones here the yellow ones are 12 volts this one is five volts, obviously you've got ground here as well. And this is a power on wire, which you connect, you can connect it with a switch or you can leave it permanently connected to the red. And that will power up the, uh, the power supply for as long as that's connected. Now I want some fused outputs on here. So I'm gonna put this to one side a sec. These are the fuse holders I'll be using. I think I scavenged these out of small light fittings. They've got uh, a neutral, bar through there. There's an earth bar along the middle which also connects through. If you've got a mounting bolt it goes into the bottom there and the live one has a fuse holder and in this case they're designed to take standard 
UK mains plug fuses, the PS1362s. If you don't live in the UK, normally you will find these inside the mains plug in between the live pin and the live terminal. And the common ratings are 3, 5 and 13 amps. And the 3 and the 13 amp ones are always coloured red and blue, uh, red and brown, sorry, respectively. With the with the 5 amp and the other ratings, the reg, the less common ratings such as 7 amp, 10 amp, you can get 2 amp ones as well, there's quite a few others. And uh, those, are all, those are usually coloured black. And they're a similar size, these are a uh, quarter inch by one inch, and this by comparison is a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch cartridge fuse. So they're similar, they're just slightly shorter. Anyway, I'll be using these. So let's fit them. Here we go, we've got them loosely fanned out. It doesn't matter which yellow wires go where, because they're all connected together internally in the power supply. Same goes for the black ones, so I've just split them off. And there's nothing to stop you, of course, if you need the full output in one go. Just paralleling them all up and just putting them into one big connection. I wanted a few separate ones, so this is the way I've done it, with the remaining connection over here then, for the five volts and the feedback connection. So what I need now is something to connect to it. That'll do. Right, that's plugged in. If I switch it on, you can see the green light will come on straight away. It's happy to work with no load whatsoever. It's also equally happy to run with a nice fat spotlight. And you can see the voltage hasn't changed. It's still 12.2. So the voltage regulation is excellent. There's a very slight fan noise because they are fan cooled. I can actually feel a little bit of a breeze coming through from there. There's a little cooling fan in there. Power draw with no load is 1.3 watts. I think that's a 100 watt lamp, but 100 watts at about, it's probably 100 watts rated at 13.8 volts. We're in a 12.2, you can see it's coming in at around about 90. So, I'm happy with that. It means I can get rid of the PC that's currently running just as a CCTV power supply and replace it with, with this instead. Hope someone finds this useful. Obviously these are quite cheap on eBay as long as you buy the proper branded Microsoft ones. Don't go buying some uh, El Cheapo aftermarket one because, well, you don't want your house burning down, do you? Um, hope someone finds this useful. Thanks for watching.